The Pac-12 put out a statement on Monday stating that all of the schools are unified and they are excited about the future with a new TV deal coming soon. Well, let's rehash a bit. Fox Sports CEO Eric Shanks, of course, was on with Andrew Marchand and John Oran last week and basically said that Fox is not interested in the Pac-12. This week, Marchand and Oran I hope I'm hope that I'm saying that right. Uh, but they reported that Amazon does not want tonnage, uh, but that it's more likely that Amazon is going to save up for the NBA and for NASCAR. And if you do end up as the Pac-12 with Amazon, the streamer is not going to overpay market value. The problem there is that Amazon really only wants one game a week, and that is the top game each week. Like the Pac-12 wants the top game to be available on linear television for exposure purposes, and they want the second, third, and maybe even the fourth game to be available to a streamer. So then, of course, you've got the Bob Iger Disney earnings call where ESPN and Jimmy Bataro were brought up and how they're going to have to be more selective going forward, especially in light of having to lay off around 7,000 employees. Now, Iger has been clear about the difference in the past between must-have programming and nice-to-have programming. I will let you figure out which one the Pac-12 is. Uh, in his earnings call, he stated this, We've locked in a number of deals already, including some of the biggest ones, which is college football with the SEC, as well as with the NFL. The one that's looming is the NBA. He said, I know that's on people's minds, which is a product that we've enjoyed having and hope to continue to enjoy having. Uh, because not only it's volume, but it's quality. ESPN has been selective in the rights that they've bought. I've had long conversations about this with Jimmy Pataro, and we've had some decisions uh, that we've got to make coming up. Not on anything particularly large, but on a few things. And we're simply going to have to get more select. ESPN Plus actually has grown nicely for us, and it's shown us that the ESPN brand can be enjoyed and can be expressed well as a streaming brand and I think that we are going to continue to look at that as a potential pivot for ESPN away from the linear business. But we're not going to do that precipitously. We're not going to do that until it really makes sense from an economic perspective. So let's break that down a little bit. He did not mention the Pac-12. He mentioned the NBA as the one that's coming up. And his reasoning was for the volume and the quality. Pac-12 football quality certainly went up in the last year, but it hasn't always been like that. And the basketball, to be honest, has been pretty blah for several years now. Uh, on the other side, like, let's focus again on that statement that he said. He said, we're simply going to have to get more selective. Now, he said that they have already been selective and they'll have to be more so going forward. ESPN already has football deals with these leagues. All right, let's 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 list them off. The AAC, the MAC, Conference USA, which was just announced in November. The Sun Belt, which runs through 2030 and was just announced last July. The Big 12, the ACC, and the SEC. They've got everything, including weeknights, pretty much filled up other than that one late night window on Saturday night or maybe on Friday night. Like any deal that the Pac-12 gets done with ESPN is likely gonna have to be okay with being on ESPN Plus some and on late night ESPN. Now, adding to all of that, Brett McMurphy from the Action Network tweeted out that CBS CBS and Turner are no longer involved in the Pac-12's media rights negotiation. That means no Paramount Plus either. It also means the CBS was at least at the table, so I guess that's good. Uh, and usually, when a potential partner lets it be known that they are out on a deal, that means that the deal should be pretty close to done with other partners, right? At least you would assume. So let's figure this out. Fox and CBS, they're out. They're out on the negotiation, or, or at least they're not interested. ESPN is going to have to be very picky, or at least they said, so they're not going to overspend. Amazon only wants one game per week, and they're more interested in a potential uh, NBA and NASCAR pack. So they won't be overpaying either. Now, I guess that that leaves Apple, who hasn't done anything in the college sports space as of yet that I know of. Uh, there's no proof of concept with them to this point. And on top of that, Apple hasn't even been named as a potential bidder yet. Like NBC opened the bank for the Big Ten Saturday night game. It, they've already got Notre Dame. Would NBC maybe be interested in a USA Network like Peacock streaming package? How much would you even pay for that? Uh, my guess is here with the latest information uh, the pac-12 is forced to give amazon their top game and then espn gets the rest at basically just a bargain price my guess like each school ends up making in the neighborhood of like 25 to 27 million dollars off this tv deal which still might make sense for all of them especially with the cfp and ncaa tournament money coming in uh, if the only potential expansion suitor is the big 12 the pac-12 schools could easily make up that five to seven million dollars less that they would earn per year than the big 12 schools just by not having to travel all the way to morgantown and orlando now obviously obviously all of this is fluid but the feeling is that we're getting closer to uh, to stability for at least a few years which you know i don't know about you guys i'm pretty ready for things to calm down like <laughs> keeping up with all this mess is hard but again something to pay attention to uh, a potential bidder or somebody that was at the negotiating table has now dropped out. That typically means something is getting close. We will see what that looks like.
If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and of course, jump in the comments. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app, and make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE, and the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.